Okay, yeah, that's we'll, a little better. we'll try to be uh, as mindful as we can uh, about that. Uh, so our first our first order of business is uh, is dealing with the uh, the minutes from last week. And if somebody wants to make a motion uh, to adopt the minutes and any discussion, I, I personally do have something I want to discuss within the minutes uh, from last week. Motion to adopt. All right. Is there a second? Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Uh, does anyone else have any questions or concerns about the minutes from last week? Uh, I chose this moment to bring up a, a concern of mine uh, within the minutes because, you know, the minutes, you know, really, you know, officially record the actions of the commission uh, from our meetings. And the concern I have is uh, after our last meeting, uh, there was a community meeting that took place, uh, and it is my understanding that Commissioner Perry and Commissioner Lee went to the community meeting uh, and shared some information on behalf of the commission. Uh, that is only problematic to me because we have never taken official action as to who is the communication arm of this body. I certainly believe that it is well within your purview as residents of Jackson to communicate whatever you want to, right? Uh, but even as the chair of this commission, I do not speak on behalf of the commission. And if we're going to start that, uh, Commissioner Perry, you'll find yourself being a lot more woke than you than you thought you were, right? If I start speaking on behalf of you. Uh, and so I want to reserve, you know, any decisions that we have in terms of how we communicate as a body for the official decision of the body to do so, right? Uh, now, what your effort may have been in good faith, and I know that there are a lot of things that you do uh, be in your personal time, riding roads and, you know, making assessments, and, and we often take advantage of that. But I do believe that communicating on behalf of this commission without the commission's knowledge and understanding, and this happened, this happened immediately after we had a meeting, right? And we discussed a lot. And so if there was an idea that, hey, I'm going to this community meeting today, and, and I think I want to share this with the residents, then, then that, could have been, that could have happened and we could have discussed it as a commission. And so, you Mr. know. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. It's, this is Jonathan. So, I, first of all, that, that should be directed at me, not, not at Mr. Perry. Okay. I was invited to come and, and talk as a, uh, uh, kind of inform the, the, the folks of the meeting at how the 1% commission uh acted I, I can't imagine i can't think of any official thing that we talked about that hasn't been reflected in the meeting mostly we talked about our process but i do want to i want to bring your attention to an email that i sent to the entire commission inviting anyone who wanted to come along um to answer questions about how it works yeah. i i appreciate i appreciate that uh and, and it's on me because I should have brought it up at the meeting. It must have slipped my mind, but I did send an email to the entire commission. Yeah, it this was Harry was the only one that took me up on it. Okay, well, I, I appreciate that explanation. I, I am unaware of, of the email, uh, but it's the precinct two cops meeting, I believe. And I so I'm, I'm well aware of the cops back. meetings we have. And so I would not have needed an invitation, but I would have liked to discuss the fact that that, that invitation had been given to you and we could have discussed what we wanted to lift up in that meeting. You know, who we thought should represent the position. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. I did. I took Commissioner Lee's invitation up. I rode with him, and we had a good time. We didn't talk about anything particularly that happened in that meeting. So mm -hmm. if you talk about it happened right after the meeting and the minutes or whatever, or who's speaking, I get invited to speak about the commission lots of times, and I've done it a bunch over the last several years. I've done it two or three times over the last year. Mm -hmm. You know, because people say, what's going on, want to talk about it, whatever. I think that as a member of this commission, anybody can go out and speak to anybody about what goes on at it. We talked about projects that were going on. He told them about different things that we've done, where the money had been expended, and answered a few questions. I want to know what the, what the problem with that is. Why does somebody, you know, does some... Does somebody have to go get permission to speak about what we do in this meeting? I, I, I absolutely believe that, that we should be thoughtful about the need for residents to be informed and wanting to know what happens in these commission meetings. My objection is not to, uh, to being thoughtful of how we do that, right? 
uh, my objection is the lack of discussion around how we communicate. And a resident had a problem with some things that were said, so much so that they reached out to me, right? Uh, I believe that, that it was said that there was some discussion about what's happening with our water system. Excuse me. That came not from our talk about, not from our talk about the 1% meeting. We'd gotten through with that. Mm -hmm. The councilman got up and spoke, and some questions were asked. And I made a comment about something Mr. Hennepin has said three different times. I don't believe there's a resident that called you about it. I think it was one of your staff members who got up there and spoke afterwards. And he got up there and said, Mr. Hennepin never said that. And I looked at him and said, we got it right here. Jonathan yeah. looked it up on the phone and found it where it's reported in the paper. So it was just a question about the councilman. Wait, we were, at that point, at that point, we were just people at a public meeting. I talk about what was going on with the commission had been through and over and gone. Mm -hmm. It was responding to something the councilman had to say and we just said yeah. something back to it. Well, well, there lies the problem. First of all, your belief about who, who told me is, is of no consequence. Well, to me it, and, it is of no consequence. Yeah, I'll agree yeah, with that. Yeah. But the other thing is when you go representing the commission, then when you venture into other discussions, people still believe you to be representing the voice of the commission. And I will I still well, speak up. Yeah, I, I, would, I, I am well aware of some of the things that Mr. Hennepin have said. Uh, that is his position, right? He's not a party in the case, right? Uh, and that is a, another matter for another day. I just ask, right? And I've been intentional around this. I speak on behalf of the city of Jackson because that's my official role. I speak on behalf of Shokwe, uh, but I, I never take the opportunity to say, this is what the commission, the 1% commission or any other body I represent unless I have been presented. Now, I do believe because there is a need to, to, to be informed that we can host that conversation. I appreciate Jonathan saying that he thought that he should have mentioned it in the last meeting. Uh, and, and I think that, you know, when we get to other business or if we want to take that on today or in another meeting, we can talk about how do we want to communicate as a commission uh, to, to the residents. Even, even though these are, you know, neighborhood association meetings and we have uh, a, con a constituent services manager we have the precinct two cops meeting. We have every available opportunity to communicate with the residents things that we want to communicate with them. When it came to what is the, the style in which we want to ascertain information from our residents in terms of their concerns with particular roads. We talked about the, 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 the document that we would create. We talked about how we would disseminate it. We talked about how we would receive those responses. And I think it was appropriate to do that, right? Uh, you, most especially, uh, uh, Commissioner Perry, you want to know information from the city, right? Uh, you have been critical of when you hadn't received it. You've been critical about how important it is to make your decisions. And I think if we're communicating back and forth with community, we have to be just as intentional uh, with that communication as we are with everything else. I would like to know what specifically was said that we said that, we should, that you think we should not have said. Well, I was not there, right? Uh, but this particular individual had, uh, they named a, a number of things, to be honest with you. Uh, they talked about uh, the, the conversation about the city and paying its bills, right? Uh, they talked about the conversation about uh, what were the problems with the water system and the fact that the city would never get it back, right? Uh, a number of what they perceived to be negative statements surrounding the city. Once again, Pete Perry, Jonathan Lee, uh, you know, Shokwe Lumumba or, or Jeff Rent has the ability in our individual capacities to attend any community meeting and express any position that you have, right, based on those issues. But when it is believed that you have come as a representative of the commission, right, then it appears like an official position of this commission and I just ask that we be thoughtful about that in our communication. So, so Mr. Mayor, yes. if, I, if I may interject, let, let, let me straighten a couple of things out. So I was the only person that stood and spoke at that meeting and none of those things were discussed when I stood and spoke. It is, and to Pete's, uh, to Pete's point, I think uh, several of us have been asked to talk about how the commission functions, who's on the commission, how do you receive projects, 
what's in your purview and what's not in your purview. It was a very general conversation. Frankly, that's really why I didn't think, didn't think much of it. Now, we did stay for the entire meeting, and the other issues did come up. And to, I think Mr. Perry has spoken about uh, some of the comments that, that he made. And, and it, was, it was an open community meeting. So it was not as if we were there uh, commenting on those things as a member of the, co of, of the commission. At that point, I had taken my seat. It was a very general conversation. But Mr. Mayor, we don't work for the city. And we are, we are appointed by different entities. Um, and you know, you do what you will, Black, gladly, gladly step aside if necessary. Uh, but the but the point is, I agree oh with you, and I will own that. Although I did send an email, it was in very poor form of me not to mention it because it was that same day. I just forgot. I own that, and uh, and that's a problem. That shouldn't have happened. I'm, I apologize for, to to you and anybody else on the commission. But in terms of what was discussed, it was just general stuff. The statute, um, how we go about uh, approving a project. They asked all sorts of questions. Um, about how the process works. Yeah. And, um, and Mr. Mayor, I also want to remind you, you and I, and I think everyone on that commission, have been on the receiving end of things that people report that are inaccurate about what the commission does and what it doesn't do. Every meeting we have, are, you know, they're all public meetings. There's nothing happening in, in secret. And I consider myself a professional, and I would never run you down from the podium. It's just not what we do. Yeah. So I, I want you to understand and be comfortable with the fact that nothing was said in my capacity as a commissioner uh, at that meeting. And uh, what, what was said after we took our seats and engaged with the community, you know, we can argue that. But, uh, but I, want, I want to make sure it's clear that it was a very general conversation. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate it, and, and, and I want to be clear in, in what I'm saying. I'm not arguing uh, what you said because I wasn't present, right? I have to rely on, on what others communicate to me, right? And so I'm not here to say, you know, that's not what was said and that's not the position because I wasn't there, right? It was enough ambiguity for the individual to mention or, or they felt it was ambiguous enough, right? This is, this is one person's perception, right? Uh, and, and so that's why they said what they said to me. Uh, once again, your, your statement about people's false understanding of what the commission does, uh, their false understanding of, you know, maybe actions taken, maybe do desire more clarity, right? And so maybe that needs to be a discussion point for us as a commission about how we choose to engage and communicate with residents going forward. Uh, you know, the commission can very well say, well, you know, Mr. Perry uh, seems to uh, take uh, great pride in, 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 in his service on this commission and he uh, commits an, uh, you know additional hours of his time to do it and and we believe he's best to do X, Y, and Z, right? I'm not uh, against making a decision of how of needing to communicate. I just want us to all know and, and I think your, your, your explanation that you thought that, that maybe it should be mentioned is sufficient for me, uh, but I, I needed to raise it and, and for me, I think that, that for Shokway, I have communicated my concern sufficiently enough, and and I don't have to belabor it any more than I than I have already. All right. Any other questions about the minutes? Let me ask a question. Yes. What's that have to do with the minutes? Uh, because the minutes record the actions we take. We take. I mean, but the yeah. minutes only reflect what happened. Yeah. In this room, at that did meeting. I did and I then, take did, did I, I take did I, did I, expansive I, expansive liberty in interpreting this? If meeting? you want to talk about it as other business, I did. Uh, okay, I did. Can I move it to moving to other business rather than? Rather you can, than, but I don't have anything else to say anymore about okay, it. But so I just don't think it has. Anything to do. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the minutes. Your your Roberts rule objection is well noted. Okay, right? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> 